and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for September 24. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Do you want to learn all about Blender? Right now there's an excellent humble bundle with a whole bunch of courses. It teaches you everything from the basics of Blender, learn all about animation and rigging, then learn about how to make visual effects in Blender, how to handle simulation nodes, geometry nodes, and a bunch more. I've previously gone through one of these courses myself and I really enjoyed it, so if you want to make your own assets, check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a really impressive free pack with a ton of animations, over a hundred. It is really quite amazing how this is free. If you don't have any animation packs, definitely go ahead and get this one quickly. These are all realistic, high quality motion capture animations. And importantly, it's actually a pre varied pack. So it's not just general walking and idle animations. No, it also has some emotion animations. It's got a piano animation, drunk, dancing, fighting, prone, and even has a vending machine animation where the character interacts with a vending machine. So it's definitely a very impressive free pack, a ton of variety. Naturally, this one is a free sample pack. So if you like these animations and you want a lot more of a specific type, then this tab has a ton more packs. Then here's a fun, interesting 3D model. It's a Steam engine. It's just a bit of fun. I'm not sure how you would actually use this in a game. Perhaps as just a prop sitting on a desk, so something great for decoration. Or maybe scale it up and put it in some kind of hydro power plant or something. Or perhaps just as a fun learning experience. You can import this into Unity and look at it from all angles. It is animated and it does seem to be realistically accurate. So you can look at the animation to see how a steam engine actually works. You can see a part where the steam comes out, you can see how that pushes a rod upwards, which in turn pushes another rod sideways, which in turn generates rotational motion. So in all, quite interesting. Next here's a simple but potentially quite useful tool. It is a very simple basic bar you can add to your editor which lets you easily control the timescale. Meaning you can very easily play your game at different speeds. This is quite a simple thing but it can be quite useful, especially when testing your game. Many times you want to skip to a part ahead in your game. Normally I just use some debug button inputs, but with this you can just move the slider to make it faster or slower. Personally I love tiny things that do just one thing and do them well, and this is a great example of that. Then for some nice free VFX, here are some orb effects. There's a lot of free packs for things like Auras, but I haven't seen many like this where it has a bunch of effects around the character. So this one has a rotating fireball, there's one with some flying bones, there's a dark bubble, some green stuff, and a bunch more. These could work on pretty much any kind of fantasy game. These could be either great buffs or debuffs. This one contains 5 free prefabs, and if you like this style, then this dev has tons more. Next, if you'd like to make a game, perhaps like Clash Royale, here are a bunch of cartoony castles. These are some nice, simple, flat designs. So the pack includes 4 castles with 3 different stages of destruction. So you could really just take this, look for one of the many free packs that have tiny soldiers, and make a game just like Clash Royale. Then for a fun tool, here is a 2D and 3D outline. This is always a great effect for pretty much any game. You can customize the color, customize the thickness. You can also apply an effect to show it behind objects. It works in both 2D and 3D, and it does not require changing the material at all. The whole thing works as a post-processing effect. So it's all super easy to use, just add the component and that's it. This is always a great effect to add to things like interactable objects when you get near the interaction range. Then if you need some weapons, here's a nice low poly pack. It's got quite a nice amount of assets and variety. You've got 7 weapons, there's 4 bullets and 1 knife. You've got pistols, rifles and shotguns, all in a nice low poly art style. Apparently these were made with a tool that turns 2D into 3D, so if you like this style then maybe look into that tool. And then here we have a super simple nice system. It helps you change the color of your folders, so that's it, super simple. This can help you organize your project a little bit better, especially if you get used to a certain color meaning a certain thing. Like if you can memorize that your script folder is always in blue, then it's going to be much easier to find. That's really all this tool does, super simple and does exactly what you expect. Next for some nice icons, here is a space icon set. It includes 20 icons with 3 types of backgrounds. They are in grayscale, so they can easily be recolored to any color. You can do that to make them represent either friendly icons or enemy icons. Or if you need to generate some magic beams, look at this one. You can generate a path between two points and then animate it through a shader. There's lots of options to get some really interesting effects. So this could be perfect for a game where you have some sort of electrical towers, or really just something with some Tesla coils. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for September 24. There's links to all in the description, and also check out my own free and on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.